Lovers, here you go. It's been uh, one of the longer breaks that we've got to have, but uh, we've got one hell of a treat to kickstart this. It's a little bit of Vitality taking on NIP. And already I'm noticing that Vitality have got a lot of bodies back in CT Sport. Now, you might be looking at this panic and going, oh, is that a tech thing? No, mate, this is uh, looking like it was by design. Listening for any footsteps, listening for any noise, and now they start to group back up over here with four on the A site. Hugo, how are you doing? Pretty good, man. No time for pleasantries. We're right into the action with a one-man behold. It's already gone, and with that, the site lost. Nip, run wild. Vitality, I like that float play, right? Just trying to play off the first contact, but Nip, they took their time to execute into the B-bomb site, and now the kill's all coming to them. CT's chasing through ruins, S-tag with a trade, Bernardo getting retaken, but Nip give it up and look to bring the fight back through spawn. Yeah, they're rushing Apex down. Now he's trying to play with them. He's trying to isolate these two little fights while he's got them, but nothing getting found leaves it all onto Masuta. Up through Banana, time ticking away. And it is starting to turn against him in a very big way, just buying time in the back of the site is device, and he's going to nail the shot. So there's NIP picking up the pistol here to kickstart Inferno. A Danish domination on the side of Nip to take that pistol round two from the couple of Danes we've got in this roster. And it's an exciting time, Harry. This, this matchup, I mean, as said by the analyst, pretty hard one to predict, pretty hard one to call. Both teams in decent form, vitality, hot off the press of success. And, you know, both these teams eliminated in quarters back in the major, but... Also, to finalists, you've got to keep that in mind. So I think they have a lot more to prove right at the end of the year. And what better way to go out with a bang than to take a trophy at IEM Winter. Nip, strong start, but the force is immediately in. Vitality, don't wait around. Ooh, I like this, right? No uh, no waiting around today. We're getting a Vitality that are looking to, uh, to push the envelope, right? They've come in with this force by the getting stuck in with a bit of mid-aggression. And it's netted in this early opener. And now Masuta's has even had this idea of like immediately up and leaving this A side of the map, going to reinforce B. And so this is where, you know, you might look to someone like your device as he's going back into middle, whether he's going to just try and sell the illusion that actually we are looking back towards A, or if he was going to look for another avenue, but ultimately he's just come back up through Banana to try and set them up for this B play. We do see Masuta taking a moment of pause, right? Having a bit of doubt as to whether or not this triple stack over towards B was the right decision. And so he's going to be playing Speedway for that fast rotation between the sides. Yeah, not convinced by a long wrap. No lurkers in play with Nip only having four up. They want to keep their bodies together and trade their way into the site. Flash goes high. Rez looking to entry right now. The smoke is going to be a bit weird. And Zywoo's Deagle blind. It doesn't stop him. Mizuta, a man gets past, but he swings back through the smoke and gets the kill. Plopski does find an entry finally, but at what cost? You're in a two on four right now. Nip can't even think about the bomb plant and more members of Vitality are moving in for the killing blow. Zywoo yet to be cleared and no Molotov to do it. Nip have to close the gap. Yeah, they've got to do it the old-fashioned way, mate. You've got to run him down. And Masuta, oh, shocks, he won't let them in. The Famuses, the French weapons, fire off yeah. and are able to steal Vitality that round away. So things get a lot more interesting now with the force panning out in favor of Vitality. What's the response going to be out of NIP? Yeah, I mean, at this point, you have to buy back in, right? You're doing a little force by wars. You're trading rounds, but uh, it's certainly going to favor Vitality picking up that second over the first. And NIP, not much they can do, but just force up Armour D, Tech Nines, go for a faster approach. Got some Deagles in. Not really any utility to worry about, but Device's Deagle does do something. Right down the middle, Apex's head is gone. And they're going to take that space, move into middle as a unit. Vitality, been very mobile on the CT side already. Going to pull a third player towards A. Masuta cleans out Banana. That should keep Zywo on this A site, especially with Shocks getting the contact. He smokes off long, beckons them to go up the short side where Kyojin is lobbing utility. No significant damage, though. Device has oh. taken that scout, but only for a moment. Okay. Shocks finds him through the smoke. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly from Shoxy. All right, lad. He's called for a bit of a rotation as well, right? Zywo's made his way around. Kyojin spotting these players over at short. And IP, not where they want to be. This force by ain't looking so fruitful for them. Shox is still taking liberties on the long side, just trying to keep them pincered in. They've got them stuck here. Oh. And Shox will get traded after one, but that's where Zai Wu is meant to be able to hold the line. And he'll oh. do exactly that. Takes one to the grave with him. S tag all alone, one on three, Famous in hand. And they're all around him. Maybe. Could have started with Masuta, but instead, not meant to be. It is Vitality finding themselves that second. 
Yeah, Masuta saving the day right now. A couple of rounds, right? Not just getting that Famas off in the second, but, you know, as you said, if, uh, if that kill comes through for S-Tag and he has the open B bomb site, there's a plant, there's a doable one on two in that position. Not today, though. Just Glocks, P250 on Deve. And Vitality's chance to loosen up. Yeah, I'm curious, you know, for this NIP squad. Oh. <laughs> All right, happens, mate. Yeah, you know, yeah. Luckily enough, it's just a Glock round, so you're not, you're not, you're not too worried. Um, what I was going to say is, I'm interested about this NIP squad. I think, you know, when you look at someone like S Tag, rightfully so, there's going to be a fair bit of attention put on him. I think it was after Blaster, Nip came out and said, yeah, you know, when when we get into those hectic situations, yeah. the the comms can get a little bit muddled, and S Tag can struggle keeping up with us and keeping everything concise. So, you know, I think there's going to be a a decent bit of attention put on the guy to see not only how the comms are going, but also how he's slotting in individually. Because, uh, you know, I mean, we, we've only had that one look at S-Tag in this squad so far. And it wasn't, you know, much like uh, his kind of Astralis debut back in the day where he came in looking real hot out of the gate. Instead, it, it's been a bit more of a, a trial and tribulation so far. Yeah, that language thing's definitely apparent, right? While well, we see Swedes and Danes, you know, there's some similarities. Even uh, Nato Safix put a tweet out recently about how when he played with Freiburg, in heroic, you know there were there were similar issues like that in those hectic moments, and uh, and yeah, Counter Strike communication is key. You've got to be quick. You've got to be clean with how you present your data. Three to one, but this is a little bonus round for Vitality. Despite that, the grenades have done all the work in this round to begin. Look at Nip; they are bruised a little bit. That's going to soften them up for these rifles. Masuta waiting on contact. Flash is good, though he drops off. They know. They saw him go down, and the second Flash almost saves him, but almost won't cut it. Hampus blinded with the entry. Nip gets smoked off, but that's fine. It gives them a chance to relax. A five on four, bleed out a little bit more utility. The Vitality have done a good job of holding on to for the moment. Nip are going to double back. Vitality haven't swayed in their defense. Still three on A. It's Nip going into the stack. Yeah, and you know, this is this is maybe feeling like Vitality, you know, trying to have that read. Because thus far, you know, you think about how these rotations have been on guys like Masuta, for example. He's often been very, very keen to uh, to rotate at the slightest sign of trouble. So they maintain this three-man A-hold. They have a good idea of what NIP might be planning. And Zywoo is actually going to throw his own smoke in Moto. Now trying to play around this. He's gotten himself into the oh. cubby. And this is by design. This gives him a nice little angle to try and shut this down oh. from Zywoo. Woo! How does he connect that second shot device? Trying to deal with Kyojin, but time's oh, running out. Time's a problem, and Kyojin's gonna lock it in with three. That is a wonderful round out of Zaiwu and Kyojin to find a fourth of vitality. And that smoke is uh, is a thing of beauty out of Zaiwu. Yeah, it kind of throws one of his teammates to the wolves. Yeah, right? you know. <laughs> but you win the round. As That's long as the trades come through, it's okay. I mean, all, all the eyes are on Zaiwu. The second shot on the, on the spray is ridiculous That's mental, into man. the head, but Kyojin with three from the back of the bomb site. Got to give it to him as well. Anchoring down and not letting Nip in. Vitality fully aware of everything Nip are doing right now. And the rounds are showing for it. 4-1. Another broke by. No one peeking deep down mid. Don't want to give Device that deagle yet again. Instead, he's Tech 9 straight up the top and gone in an instant. Apex keeping that info down. Banana jumping and trying to find some pot shots. Even a boost. Rez, he looked lights out on Nuke earlier on, right? Taking down Astralis. This guy was having an incredible game. And considering, you know, we're referencing Blast again, like that was not a good tournament for him. He was one of the bottom rated players. And so it was reassuring to see him now back in Sweden doing better than ever. But can he keep that up in this series? Gone from this round, as the pistol should be, and it's nice and clean for Vitality. Five alive, going to start to build cash. And now Nip need to get back on that board. Yeah, you know, obviously a game can't be won in the first eight rounds of play, but uh, Hugo, how, how worried are you getting over this 5-1, you know, trailblazing start out of Vitality? I know we haven't really had, you know, like too many uh, like rifle rounds as far as they go for NIP, right? They're going to be coming in with another one now, but you do start to get concerned. It's like, well, it, it's still recoverable right now, but if you don't stem the bleeding, if you don't deal with it, it's only going to get worse. It's only going to start to slip away from you more and more. It's a war of attrition, you know, T-Side Inferno. You're just looking to get, get that money broken. Not not winning against the bonus round, obviously, it's going to leave you in a bit of a rough early spot. We got a one way, one way all right. line up, shocks over the top. B 
but you see a smoke in there and you're gonna be a little bit worried if you nip. So I always found an opener and the legs are removed by Shoxi. Even a tag on the corner, Rez is low as well. This is not the round, not the start, the nip wanted nor needed. Molly is gonna trap Misu to him, but Zaiwu through the wall. <laughs> what? Right above the head of his teammate, what? finds device. This round's done, forget about it. Rez, one on five, he's good, but not this good. Yeah, no, <laughs> well, so you'd like to think. There he is tapping out the first. However, I, I get nervous around this uh, <laughs> this, this spammable wall, mate, with Zai Wu still donning that AWP over towards the top of Banana. Rez going to go back, try get the bomb. He's got 55 seconds, but time is the only thing he's got, and even that is going to turn against him. I mean, Apex, oh, sorry, Kyoshin could leave A, right? We got shocks on this deep angle down on mid. He's fully cleared it out right now. Vitality, no, it has to be B at the current point. So Zai Wu's here with the AWP. Two already in the round. Rez looking to creep through the edge of the smoky. Here's Apex reposition, but Zywe should trade. Even if this kill comes in, he should trade, and he does. Keeping the round in the palm of Vitality's hand. Lovely round out of Zywe. Three off the AWP, and yeah, it shows up early. That's what you want out of Zywe. That's what you get. Yeah, you know, that's uh, that's quite the way for this little uh, Zywe device head-to-head -to, -head to, to kick start in this game. Look at it. Uh, he nails that first shot onto Hampus. Shocks with the boost as well, but this is the shot we were looking for, right? A little wall bank to device right past Masuta as well. Can't really do anything about yeah. that, can you? I, I mean, also, you know, we're, we're only seven rounds in and already we're seeing some grimy little smokes out of Vitality. I really do love it. There was the one that Zaiwu dropped over at Moto. Now you've got that little one-way couple with the boost over in Boiler. Oh, and even more down towards Banana. It's one of these smokes that lets you take that peak over the top of Car. Apex lines up a double on the back of it. That little Fury smoke. And now, well, NIP walking wounded up through Banana. They've got pistols. They're not really fancying uh, much in this round. Here. I think it's really cool that we, you know, we're in a time at the end of the year now that we have roster changes on the horizon, confirmed and unconfirmed, rumored. We, we know there are going to be teams moving uh, around and Vitality are one of them. And when we look at like roster changes upcoming, a lot of teams, we could, you know, understand if they maybe fell short in a couple of tournaments or, or didn't, you know, show up in a big way uh, but vitality they've gone the other way with that much fun anyway but the fact that you're oh, up against yeah. the zaiwu who's looking <laughs> this confident oh, oh all right no one knew anything yeah they neither neither orpa knows but just a little default here out of nip right they've They've tried their hands at, you know, seizing this uh, this fast map control over towards Banana. They've tried to take mid away. Whenever they, you know, look to just group early, it's often kind of falling apart. So they're trying to take a bit more of a default here, right? Looking for some apps control, then going to try and take mid. Once you've done that, you've shut a lot of info off for Vitality, right? And, uh, and that's where you can look to try and force some of these rotates, play some of these mind games. To take in top mid control, that's going to be very important to... Uh, to the NIP squad right now. Poor Rezma, he just cleared that. He'd mollied off the corner. He'd, he'd taken Banana for free. He gives it up thanks to retake utility and then just walks dry into a 1v1 that Masuta wins out, who's just kept it up. So B is gone. Yeah. The Vitality know it. thing that's a little bit scary as well is like, this isn't really a default anymore. It's an alien, right? Like you've lost that banana control on the back of having Rez bested in that head-to-head -head versus Masuta. And so now you, you don't know what's happening over towards B. You don't know how aggressive Vitality have got. It really only leaves you with this A play. And so here they come. Plopsky and Hampus will both get open. And Zai Wu trying to keep Vitality in this round. It's a three on three, and suddenly, you know, Nip, they've, they've made some magic happen here. They've, they've turned this into a winnable spot. But can they get it over the line to find themselves a second round? And the benefit of using all the clock is Vitality just have no utility left for this round. You're going to need those kills to come in. And with a re-smoke at Moto, they've got to go right through their final smoke. Apex leads with it. Double peak, Plopsky finds one. And now the short wrap at a certain point, you might just have to give it up. You've got a bit of money, but not worth it. Not realistic. So Vitality, tails between their legs, give up a second round. It's respectable, right? When, you know, you're playing Inferno, when a double entry comes out like that in such quick succession with no trade there's not a lot you can do on the ct side they have to accept it but that's fine still with a heavy round lead nip on the board about time for it and they even save the orb for device hey i mean in a weird way um i think nip are probably pretty happy that vitality chose to double wrap short because and i only caught it for a second so i could be wrong here but i'm pretty sure that moto smoke did the classic bug of like 
glitching into the ground, the ground and sunk yeah. through. Loves that, doesn't it? And so suddenly, you know, if there was like a little double long haul with Apex and you were able yeah, to employ right. some awful, horrible, grimy boost over the top, <laughs> that could have gone really weird. Uh, thankfully, Vitality, not ready, you know, not not reading into the, the, the bugged world of Counter-Strike. It does happen it doubled up on the short side. On Moto as well. It feels like one of the places... Yeah, Moto is a very off. broken spot. It's those, it's those little rocky cobblestones. You never know, but it's fine. Doesn't mean anything. Double app set up, and Nip might meet you there. Props keep patrolling alt mid res again, left to his lonesome in banana. Not an easy position to be playing off of yourself and, and not having anyone to flash you back into angles. These double app setups, they always make me scared, right? Because you know, if Zywoo misses, suddenly okay. Kyojin had to hold the line, and he's done actually a bang-up job of that. Getting a double, going above and beyond. So often that goes wrong, and that player's just fed to the wolves, but instead, it's Vitality locking in an eighth round. It's smooth, it's nice. Zywoo might have missed, but Kyojin's there to pick up the pieces, baby, and that's that's what you want out of him. Yeah, Zywoo just you left him on his own there. It's like, yeah, all right, you might die, but uh, that's not really my problem, is it? And I'm of you may die, that's but that's a, a risk, risk I'm willing to take. take. Yes, indeed. Well, Farquaad himself. But nice double from both the aforementioned players and Vitality keep it clean yet again. Apex animated as always. And it's always a joy to watch. Nip put everything into this one. Mac 10 Deagle and three AKs at least. And Vitality still not shying what? away. They're loving to get involved in this Whoa. early round. That's a tag, that's a tag. <laughs> device as well. Bloody hell. All right, we're getting that end of year Zywoo coming through. It's always good when he appears. He's like, uh, you know, Krampus. Is that the bad Santa? I think that is. Yeah. What? The Grinch? No, dude. Yeah, you know, Krampus. he's like, yeah, he's like Devil Santa, basically. Okay. He's the guy who fills your stockings full of coal. I think he's more murderous, actually, if I remember right. But here's Zywoo over in middle. He's pretty murderous as well, as it turns out, isn't he? Here he goes. Ooh. It's only a tag, a rare oh. act of mercy, and the MAC-10 will churn him up. Now, oftentimes, wow. when Zywoo has fallen, this A bomb site has kind of been, you know, thrown up in the air. And this round is no different. NIP, they get past that big name. They 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 break their way through that iron wall in top mid that Zywoo is. And Vitality are left in another one of these three-on-three -three retakes. Once again, much like last time, it's Apex over at Moto, and it's a double short side retake. Now, Device yeah. gonna nail the open, and Masuta already dead. Last time, Vitality saved here. This time, they're looking to give it a go. And with that kill to Device, they've got themselves a fighting chance. In they come. Shoxy spots him down in the pit, and S-Tag swept aside. Flopsky nailed as well. And so Vitality will come through, guns blazing in the retake to make it happen and find themselves a night. Finally comes through, right? You know, we've seen a lot of those close retakes and ones that Vitality have already had to save on. Poor Rez, I really do feel for him right now. He saves Plopsky's life coming up short side by getting that headshot to the pit player while Plopsky's throwing nades. And then shocks on long yet again for like the third time this map, just sprays the smoke, kills Rez, the one rifle coming up into the A site. And yeah, a, a nice delay play from shocks as well. Even though his teammate dies on the short corner to Device, he doesn't swing and try and trade. He waits a second, Device lets his guard down, and then he gets cleared. Again, down middle for Zywoo. He just doesn't care. And he saw the spam. No. He knows he's up there. What? But how does that... How is that a leg? It's only a tag for Zywoo. He still follows up, looking to finish the job. Okay. And it's all Zywoo today. Double kill before the flash finally pushes him off. And now wide in middle. He escapes mm. only temporarily. That was a wild round from Zywoo. It was. And I like it. I like that... You know, they've they, they've nerfed him by going, when he buys an AWP, it's actually just a scout. That's what it feels like. Yeah, dude, oh, I was, that was dead. I don't know how that one was a tag, right? There are some of them where I'm like, yeah, maybe that should have been a kill, but... Hey, he finished it, just took two shots. Anyway, look, there, there's still so much damage done to Nip. It's like, one of these rounds, you've got the three on three, Ooh, but you yeah. need an opener. You need something to hold on to here. Sharks, oh, yeah. they're not ready for him. It's a little bit ugly. And so Device at nine points of health, mate, I, you know, as, as good as this guy is, as legendary a player he is, nine points of health, mate. There's no, there's no change in that. The bomb dropped down bottom banana, uh, and he's got a big 1v2 to try and navigate. He does at least have a 1v1 at both bomb sites right now, right? That's something to go off yeah. of. But even then, you're still clutching at straws of your Device. Let's see what he can do. 35 seconds. He's got time on his side, but that is really it. He could scavenge Zywoo's orb. Is it still hanging around on this body or has it been cycled out? It looks like it has. Maybe on the roof. 
not in the mind of device. He just needs to find his entry. This one shot, contact made, 20 seconds, and Kyojin just cleans it up. No worries, peeking out wide and finishes what Apex started. This is a beautiful CT side out of vitality, full faith in both their players to anchor their bomb sites. And why wouldn't you have that? B has just been a real problem for Nip, right? They got a lot of banana control in the first three or four rounds of this map. And ever since, it's just been that back and forth of retaking banana right as Nip get comfortable. They feel like they've cleaned car, they get an entry, and then Shoxi or Masuta pushes right back down to sandbags and keeps causing problems. Saiwu so having a giggle after that round, you can't blame him. Just throwing anything right down middle. Now, Nip, they just need anything, right? We talked about this earlier in the half. Like, we weren't worried at 7-1. It's a war of attrition. You're trying to get you know, break down that CT money, get rid of the orbs, get rid of the util. And NIP have been un unable to do any of that in this T side. Two kills for Esatag, three for Hampus. It's do or die now for Nip if they don't want to get shredded in their map pick in the series. Yeah, I'm kind of, you know, I mean, Vitality look like they've come into this so prepared as well, man. Like, you know, we, we touched upon, like, some of these gimmicky smokes that we've seen out of them early on, but... It, you know, that, that's that been a real treat. Uh, and, you know, gimmicks work to get your rounds here and there. Uh, and now it's helped this 10-2 scoreline amass. It's at a point, really, where the Vitality must be feeling so confident and so, like, you know, this, this match is... Or, sorry, this map is already feeling locked in that... Nip are really up against it, both in terms of the mental and just the reality of this situation. You know, you've got to dig deep to grind out this series now, and Zai Wu uh, might get punished, Why? although it's a big oh. might, and Zai Wu's mightier. He's on for three. The nade does get rid of him, but still, it's a round for Vitality. He just doesn't care. He has no fear. He has no reason to stop re-peaking. Nip aren't punishing him. Look at that smile, There's man. There's no way he should be getting away with three there. But Zai Wu, it's just the effect, man. Dude, whenever whenever I watch the the footage of Zai Wu at the uh, it was the face of Major, you know, where he played in the show match, and he's like this really he was just so shy and like so he was a real cutie, you know? Like they're trying to talk to him and he's saying, no, no, like <laughs> he just doesn't want to do it. I don't know. And now, like, you look at the guy he's turned into since then, where back, you know, back then it was just potentially, he was just someone that's on the radar. And I mean, now look at him. All right, Nip, gun round now. Through the smoke, and this is the play you're going for. 11-2 down. You've never won these banana fights. Flash was primed and ready. It never went out. Hampus just walks to his death. Another opening fight won by Vitality and another nade to follow in their footsteps. Nip get put down to 50 on two counts. Saiwu, Molly, Flash, you name it. They got it. And Kyojin entried upon. Saiwu misses a shot and now has to finally give it up. Back to the bomb site with him. Vitality re aggressed for Banana and Masuta. Again, not punished. Why stop doing it? Wow. He gets two. He doesn't see the regroup. Nipper just getting back in position. He's caught hitting the wall up in the air. That might give Nip uh, a breath of life in this round as they have a two on one in the B bomb site now. Yeah, Apex does have this since injury. That, that could buy you a few more seconds, but it's not long enough to, to get rotations in, right? So instead, he, he plays it different. He goes, look, I'm not going to try and slow it down. In fact, I'm not even going to let them uh -oh. know I'm here. This flash is when Apex is hoping a peak, and, well, it's Tai Wu to actually steal that one away. Don't really know how. Smoke's down. But uh, Plopsky, one on three. Knows about Apex at the very, very least. Knows about the orb back in CT. Shocks is a bit of a mystery. Don't know where that third player is. With this swing, he's dealt with Apex. 20 seconds left here. Two bullets. Two bullets, two players to go up against. And Boink. he's going to have to scavenge that AK from the ground. But here's that banana flank man, Shox. You never knew where he was. Uh -oh. And once again, it's Iwu to actually beat him to the punch. And there it is. Vitality up on a 12. They like robbery from Zywoo, man. He is just, he wants everything. Bro, he wants all the kills. He's set he wants up all Apex the glory. with the flash. Yeah, and, and then, then wall through the smoke. smoke. Yeah, like. <laughs> Fair enough. That's one way to do it. Thanks for trying, Apex, but you've got to be quicker if you want to beat Zai Wu. Look at this. <laughs> There's the flash. That was Shocking. meant to get Apex the kill, and Zai Wu's like, nope. <laughs> Just kidding.
Still a good store for Apex, right? Like after you, they, they finally lose Masutra Banana, he gets a lot of impact again, just peeking wide down with no flash. And Apex, yeah, he could have fought, but in losing the sight, it would have given a quick bomb plant. And look at what buying those few seconds does, right? Just just staying alive. I mean, the second that last play gets off the plant, Vitality have two players there ready to swing him. So enough time is bought to keep this one clean, 12 to two. And why stop now? Another limited buy for Nip. No orb. They've rarely had it in this T side. Util's already starting to miss. So we're getting boosted. There's no gap there. There's nothing to be seen. And spam comes through. Nip are given brackets control for now. That bomb is still back in T spawn, and Rez is still wandering around Banana. See, Masut has been really good at Banana, like obscenely good at Banana. And it makes me a little bit nervous seeing that bomb all the way back in T-Spawn. Luckily enough, they've gone back and got it. Rez never fights Masuta here. And so for the time being, they've dodged the danger that Masuta represented. Flash is ready. But yeah, here's that flashbang going over. Timing oh, on it is perfect, yeah. however. Rez was playing anti-flash. Team kill. Yeah, he only killed twice <laughs> amongst the whole thing. But it's fine. It's fine. That's what you tell yourself at least. It's a four on four and we're two twelve down and we just TK'd. It's fine. Here's the group up for the A play. And Vitality are calling for rotations back around. Shock's over in library. Zai Wu still in CT. He's gonna be here fairly quickly. Shocks wants to get this info and then just stay alive. He's playing this copy again. It's it. He's committed to this Ooh. fight and Hampus. I might make him a little bit scared of commitment. Kyojin's got to do it again from the back of the site. He's dropped the bomb. He's on for a double. And he's once more given Vitality a fighting chance at a retake in an even odds bout. Yeah, you can't ask for more, right? Ky uh, Ky uh, Kyojin and Masuta have both been great at double kills when they're left on their own. Estag are down in the pit with Rez as well. Two of the bottom performers in the numbers, at least for Nip right now. But if there were any moment to step up to try and grab a third round at the end of the half, Zaiwu flashing Apex up short side, and it's blind. Rez is gone. S tag with the taps. He's found both. Oh, point in time. But you did it anyway. And I did it anyway. Oh, dear. So how was it getting patronized? They're going to get aggressive, man. They're going to try and push the boundary right down middle. It's only device keeping the attention. No idea that there are three players right down the bottom, bottom of mid. Now the info comes in. Masuta and Zaiwu combine. Zaiwu again robbing frags, but they're fired right back by Nip as they're on a four on two and they're looking to keep it clean as well. Why stop now? Plopski alone at B. He knows shocks is coming. The call has been made. The steps have been heard. And Plopski has put him in the grave. Four rounds for Nip. And it's the start of what could be something. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's something to build upon, right? And uh, this NIP squad, man, they, they've been no strangers to being, uh, you know, and this is what I was alluding to coming into this. Like, they, they've been no strangers to being let down with their t halves and having to embark on big CT comebacks. So, you know, within within that vein, it, it's kind of somewhat feeling maybe par for the course. Maybe it's what you're used to. In the same way that a team like VP prolifically were always ones who would, you know, be able to claw anyone at any game back and make it some big overtime affair like it's a war of attrition. So it's not like this is uncharted waters for NIP. Just because you've been there before doesn't make it any less dangerous or... Now just pistols for Vitality. They're giving a decent bit of respect though, right? Not forcing, not throwing caution to the wind. And so this should be a Nip Brown. That's what you're telling yourself. Yeah, it's time committed deep B as well. So Popsy's going to be drawing them in. Vitality begging Nip to get too aggressive to make a mistake. But other than poking their heads around corners, Nip won't be committing anyone. Oh, I lied. Hampus flash peek into the middle, and Zaiwu's D does what it does best. Gun is secured. Taking bets now. Who wins? Five guns or Zaiwu's one deagle? Surely five guns, Harry. Surely, right? That's what you're telling yourself. Surely there's no way Zaiwu could get anything here, right? Oh, he can't. See? Told you. Surely. Shocks all alone, one on four. Once again, throwing into another one of these clashes with the P250. And it's probably going to end the same way it did in the pistol. I'd never lie to you. Yeah, no ifs, no buts. Just a fifth round for NIP, and now the guns come out for Vitality. You know, you say giving respect over by, by going for that eco. I think that's more just having faith in your gun rounds. You know you can mess around with some forces and, and try and start that war, or you can just wait one little round with a lot of breathing room and come in and close the game. That's at least the hope for Vitality.
vitality in this follow-up. And you know that Nip are going to be bringing in MP9s as well, so a little bonus round is still in their hand. Device's orb comes through, though. That's good to see as early as it can. And hello, look at the hello, accumulation of grenade <laughs> up to the top of B. Nip aren't going to be letting you in their bomb site anytime soon, but Device peeking down mid, and he saw Shoxy. He had an inkling. Grabs that opening kill, and that's what we needed out of this orb. It's a very big investment. Can't afford to be quiet if this comeback was ever going to happen. Flash is going to impart some fear on you. Have Nip retaken Banana. Vitality now have to clear their corners. They have to be methodical. Got to get that util in. Oh, you've got it. Vitality have no flashes. They're just running in off of one. Yeah, they, they've netted the opener. All that util for S tag. Hasn't done too much to soften them up. Plopsky, back of the site here. Ooh. Flash is raining over from Device. But he's dead after one. And now we get into this little post-plant scenario. It's a three-on-three. Three. Bomb now going down. This nade won't stop Plant. It's coming in behind Fountain. And so... Oh! They changed knew. it. Yeah, they changed their mind. Zai Wu, two on two, and Apex still holding on to the coffins. He wins that fight, and suddenly this is flipped on its head. Device oh. trying to rise up against Vitality, but he can't deal with a man at the helm of the squad. Apex closes it out with two, and the rifles, you know, they're donned by Vitality. They come in swinging. They find that round, and... You know, with it for NIP, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but this is now leaving you in, in pretty dire straits. Yeah. This should be a vitality map on the back of that. Surely. Uh, nice ears for device, right? Yeah, come That's on, get it win. together. Fix the it. Nip. Right, so you got these three M4s. And you're hoping the Deagles, on the back of a bit of aggression, could have found something. Now, lucky you didn't go any further than that with Apex here. That was certain death. There's this little triple B lean. You know, at this point, Nip, they, they've got to take gambles. The decision they've taken is, you know, two deagles, you guys go play the A-bomb set, right? If they go A, eh, just see what you can do. And maybe we'll rotate a little frivolously. Who knows, based on your successes. If they come B, well, they're running into the three M4s. If A's lost right away, the three M4s save. If they do come to you, though, you've got a very good chance of making something happen in this round. So it's a neat little gamble to have taken. Apex spots one of these guns, but at that point, that's not alarm bells ringing yet for uh, for Vitality, right? One player with a gun, that's nothing to write home about. That's pretty normal. You're not concerned yet, but it's if you try to go in, if you commit to this, you're going to end up in the belly of the beast. Yeah, dissolved by the stomach acid. Orb thrown to Apex, he's low. Kyojin's holding for the rotates out of A. There's not going to be any aggression right now out of Nip. They're just holding strong. That quad molly coming in for Zaiwu. They're in no hurry. Still 30 seconds. You've got to go eventually. These smokes are being lined up. They're doubling back to check no one's push. But at this point, it's got to be an A play. Full BX set coming in in the meantime. A little fakey play out of Vitality. And now it is up to those two Deagles. They've got to do everything. Hampus has figured out the hard way. And he can't get the kill. Finally converts onto Zaiwu. Masuta trades. One man in the middle of the bomb site with it all to do. And it is Device. Deag for one, but Kyojin trades. And that might just be the end of the round. The only thing tempting you back in is the three on three. And Nipper running for it. Yeah, and you know, it is your three rifles still left standing. You, you're really hoping that they've got it in, that you've got what it takes to somehow steal this one away. The Deagles, they've lived oh. up to their side of the bargain, but the M4s, they've not done so well. Already losing S-Tag, Rez and Plopsky. They need to go above and beyond with Plopsky uh -oh. put out of the round and Rez only good for one. It's Vitality stealing that one away up to 14. And, you know, with the money broken for the NIP squad, I, I think this is where we start to look at Vitality just running away with this map and going 1-0 up in the series. They're very, very confident right now. They're looking on point. The decision there to, to throw that full B execute and then go back into the A play, it, it's partly enabled because Kyojin's been holding on to that mid control, right? You know no one's deep down, you know, uh, towards Banana, down towards T-Ramp, over in the, uh, uh, you know, like little tunnel, right? No one's gonna, no one's gonna shoot you on these roads However, you still had to clear a lot of ground, right? As you got to the A bomb site, it's a ballsy call to have made. 
but they reap the reward of it. Yeah, it's possible they even built up an idea of the weaponry as well. They saw two M4s on B, they saw a Deagle on A, a it could have been cooled by Vitality. Now, guns has been grabbed, and Vitality go have it. We want the round, we want the map, we want the A bomb site as they run up the long side. Smoke on Arch, there's still library to worry about. Hampus gets flashed in, but as that smoke lands, his vision is gone. Got to get the reload in. Smoke does hit an opponent, but it won't stop them on their trajectory towards this A site. Just device again. Shots can't connect. They're going through, and Apex is here to maul them. Two kills before the trade. More guns to be given, but the bomb's planted. Vitality needs to get device out of the pit where he stands, but it's only one before the trade comes in. Device throws himself into the round. Kyojin cut off by the smoke. It shocks his orb. It needs to stand tall, and it can't. Kyojin can't close either, and Nip do get that retake going. They've been very quick on the rotations but it makes sense with how clear vitality's commits have been you lose banana in that fashion the best call is to just speed up into the a site after spotting a really heavy b play and so nip they hold on by the skin of their teeth but it's still it's still such a comeback harry yeah and you know man on top of that it's like when, when you kind of look at this, you know, like pound for pound, the Vitality individuals are really looking solid right now. You know, like uh, CT Half Year Masuta just holding that banana control time and time again, looking impeccable. Zywu with this great start. Everyone's had their moments. You know, Kyojin with the A anchors uh, has looked really, really good. So it makes me a little bit nervous because while we do have like Plopsky and Device giving us a good game, I, I think we need to have that kind of third man, that. That trifecta start to shine through for Nip. Usually I look towards someone like a Rez, yeah. but he's had a bit of a rough time here. Yeah, T side was just one on ones up B. And I mean, you know, he got a couple in the last round, grabbed that gun from B and, and got the retake going. Maybe that could invigorate him. Ooh. The second half device is very close and wall bang by Zaiwu through the wood. Shocks looks to follow up, he can't. Zaiwu, his turn again. Oh. And he does <laughs> ahead. Two on three. Oh. It shouldn't be around, but you can never count this Deeg out. The yeah. center's on long, oh, and he's no. got another 1v1. Now he can start to wrap the B-bomb site. As long as Zywu doesn't lose the package, he's got Masuta on a timing to backstab S-Tag. This leaves Hampus oh. with nothing to do, so he aggresses towards mid. Oh, it's so weird. The timing's so odd, right? Zywu oh, is... sandwiched. Is, Zywu's kind of aware of this idea that someone could be creeping down middle. He's waiting around right now to see if he gets re aggroed onto. But as you say... Oh. He's somewhat sandwiched in. Oh, no. Zai Wu. Oh, no. oh no, we've seen the barrel. Hampus needs this kill. That's the bomb. This could oh, be it. But Zai Wu has nailed him with the deagle. And now it's just S tag. They know that he was over towards B. So the A bomb site's opened back up. And Vitality with just deagles. Just two of them. They might be able to make a round happen after all. S tag, by the way, while this has been happening, they lost CT. He's got to clear everything on this retake. Oh, Vitality, they might be on to 15 in one hell of a way. S tag creeping through the library. It's been some real brilliance out of Vitality to make this one happen, and S tag can't live up to it. So Zai Wu with four, and Masuda with one of his own, has somehow pulled the wall over Nip's eyes, and now it's the vice versa. Now it's a broken bye for the Swedes and the Danes. Hampus right down middle, just trying to get anything. Vitality won't give him the satisfaction. Oh, unscoped timing there as well. Cannot catch a break, can they? And what a time to just pop into B in the first 20 seconds of the round. Plopsky's wiggling. So he's trying to tap him out. Let's tag on the boost as well. And with the smokes coming down, you've got more than enough cover. Vitality just got to run wild. They don't care about the CT smoke. They just want the round. They want the map. And they want NIP's pick in this series. It shouldn't be too difficult now. Five on three. And Zywoo's at him. Close. Can he find 30 at the end of things? Oh. Not quite. And so his team will close it out instead. Yeah, I, there's, there's really not much going for Nip here. Vitality are hunting down the two remaining players and they're looking to get it locked in. They're looking to win it decisively and they're looking to uh, to really just show how confident and how disrespectful they're able to be throughout this entire affair. Only Hampus left and all that's left to do is the honorable thing. There's the swing, takes the head off of Masuta, but that should be journey's end for Hampus. That should be it stolen.